We're in the woods. <laughs> hey, my name is Eli Hannon. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna be making a campfire. All right, guys, what's the plan? The plan is waiting for the pizza to cook. And as soon as that pizza cooks, we're going outside into the wilderness. Two hours later. Quick update, pizza's not done. Give us a smile. 2,000 years later. No pizza. Bruh. All right, we're headed down to the site. We're prepared for action. First Vision. order of business is always make sure you're strapped in before the car is moving. Looks like we're coming up on it. Oh, this is scary. We are, we are miles from residential area. So, <laughs> <laughs> my name is Eli Hannon, and today we'll be traversing the wilderness and building a campfire. This will not be easy, but it's a challenge I'm willing to face head on. Yeah. I've got my, <laughs> I've got my saw. Yeah! Do this! Uh, what rhymes with Jesse? I don't know. Uh, but I know that your mom's a ho This is a sign that Christ is with us on our journey to protect us. Thank you, Jesus. We made it to a location that is a contender for building a fire right here on the ground. We're feeling pretty confident about this. So we're going to set up camp. What do, you, what do you think, light bulb? Huh? All right, guys. Uh, restart it. I'm going to stick it in there. Okay. All right, guys. I think I found the proper tree for gathering some firewood. I'm going to set down my light here. Damn. That's a hefty tree. <laughs> How many times I got to hit you, bro? Push it. Bro. <laughs> Boy. Finally. We're gonna have to censor that. What? Now, I'm gonna grab all this and I'm gonna bring it back to base camp. Oh yeah. Okay, you can stop. Oh, I kinda, I feel it warming up. Oh, it, we got some smoke. Oh, okay, we got fire. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make it seem like we have tribulations. Oh yeah, I got you. Okay. We should, we should make it like I'll still do the stick rubbing and stuff like that, but then just like have the butane torch <laughs> underneath it. It's like, oh, I think we got something going, guys. I uh, I actually spent around uh, five or six hundred dollars as well with my mom's credit card on Clash of Clans. Damn. I had so many gyms. Valid. I had so many gyms, so many, and I don't regret a thing. Little friend in the forest. Alliteration. This is Gary. <laughs> Guys, why are the cameras on me? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to Eli's singing campfire sessions in the woods by the fire. Today, I'm going to be singing a, a special song that was an instrumental part of my childhood. And my best friend Gary is also here. I'm really happy to have him. He's a snail. <laughs> is Gary gone? Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> no! <laughs> Never mind, Gary died. Uh, that really sucked. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. C A M P F I R E S O N T song. And if you don't think that we can sing it faster, then you're wrong. It'll help if you just sing along. Boom, boom, boom. C A M P F I R E S O N G song. C A M P F I R E S O N G song. And if you don't think that we can sing it faster, then you're wrong. And what well, well, babe, you just sang along. C A M P F I R E S O N G song. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we tell us some? some campfire stories. Here's a good story that's happened to me and a life lesson. One day when my brother and I were very young, we were obsessed with Dude Perfect, a trick shotting YouTube group. Dude <laughs> Perfect was the coolest thing to ever happen to me when I was young. And I always tried to be like them. Always, always, always. So I started a trick shotting YouTube channel called Awesome Lemon 4. One day, my brother and I were dreaming up this idea of a trick shot where I dive over the couch, catch the football, boom, I get up, done so my brother throws the football i dive over the couch black i suddenly come to i'm on the ground 
my face busted open, my chins busted open. But you know what? When I woke up on the floor, guess what was in my hands? The football? The Nerf football. Oh my God. Never drop the ball. <laughs> Through every trial and tribulation, never drop that ball. That was the greatest and worst moment of my life. You know why? Because it was an epic catch and it always will be. And that's how I'll remember. I won't remember it as an injury. I won't remember it as a setback that ruined my facial features because I'm fine, obviously. Ding! But I'll remember it as the greatest catch of my life. You guys have a safe night. I love you and goodbye.